I'm here with my cousin Alan and today oh. we are going to do something called Fantasy Film. What we'll be doing is we'll be taking six films that are going to be released in 2013. We're basically betting with each other on which films do the best in the box office. So um, we're focused on the UK because that's where we are. And can we say now that it's going to be box office mojo? One week from release day. That I'm happy with at the end of 2013. Yeah going and looking at it. You know, yeah. What if they bring it out for kids at like, matinee performances on a Sunday? Well, That's your issue. I'm okay with that though. Whoa, hang on now. <laughs> so I've spent a considerable amount of time finding an envelope. I say two weeks. A week isn't long enough. You're nervous. I'm not nervous. You're what nervous. I was say, the loser yep. buys the other one dinner. Not the like least. a candle at dinner. <laughs> I, mean, like, I mean like Domino's pizza <laughs> or something. <laughs> Quite sorted. And we can have any size we want. Any Good. pizza, any size, 9 99 I, I hope... I, <laughs> okay, I feel like we're so going to have some overlapping choices. I, I I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's important to say that we picked six films, but it's going to be the top five films. So your first one yep. is The Man of Steel. And your first one is Iron Man 3. Yeah. These are right. good choices. Iron Man 3 is the first Marvel film after the Avengers, yep. and we all know how well the Avengers is. Essentially, it's not just a sequel to Iron Man 2 and wrapping up a trilogy, no. it's a sequel to The Avengers. And I do think that's going to make it the biggest superhero film of next year. So, I've picked Man of Steel. I was a bit worried, because I don't think you can just assume it's going to be brilliant, because no. look at Batman Begins, you know, it had to come after a damaged franchise. However many Batman nuts there are in the world right now, and there are a lot, Batman Begins came out, they weren't. But those so... Batman nuts are going to flock to The Man of Steel Absolutely. for one reason. Christopher Nolan's name just appears in the trailer. Christopher Nolan! <laughs> Is he Lex Luthor? Or something? What's the bit going I'm on? looking forward to the most is when the credits roll and it goes, Somebody save me! <laughs> oh, I've just read your number two. I don't have this. Monsters University. Your number two is The Hobbit Part 2. Monsters University, I think it's going to be huge. It gets the kids' market, gets all the people that love Toy Story, Monsters Inc. Do you know why I didn't put Monsters University in there? As a sequel, possibly might have been too long after Monsters Inc. and right. the kids might not be familiar with it. Okay, so The Hobbit Part 2, with the success of The Hobbit. The Hobbit Part 1 was the fourth highest grossing film in the UK yeah. of 2012. And you can't argue that people have been wanting this film for 10 years. Okay. Your number three is Iron Man 3. So you've put Catching Fire, The Hunger yeah. Games 2. Yeah. The Hunger Games was so popular, and I don't think that's going to stop with The Hunger Games Part 2. And it's that old twin no, age thing, it is. isn't it? I think it's going to be even more popular. I am inclined to agree, hence why I too have also put The Hunger Games 2. Yeah, However, sure. I felt dirty writing it <laughs> It's one of the reasons that I didn't put down the One Direction film. For the record, I didn't mind Hunger Games 1 until about an hour before the ending. There's a woman that could just press buttons and make dogs alive, which well, I don't understand. If I was a sponsor, you'd give them a machine gun or a flamethrower. They wanted to give them bread, didn't they? <laughs> you've got Thor 2. I have got Thor 2. And, and you've got Man of Steel. Yeah. No. I really hope Iron Man 3 is good and then that way it has a knock-on effect on it. Thor 1 didn't do as well as Iron Man 1 or Iron no, Man that's 2. Right, that's right, that's okay. right. So I don't think it will be as pop as successful mm -hmm. as or any of the other films I've got on my list. Yeah. I'm really so surprised I'm you quite... haven't put Star Trek about that. Well, no, but you haven't either. No. That Star Trek is a good internet community thing and there's probably a lot yeah. of people that are going to leave comments going, Star Trek, Star Trek. Are kids going to go and see it? Are yeah. people that aren't a fan of the first one going to go and see it? Yeah. Whereas Thor 2, you only need to have seen the Avengers. We've both got Hunger Games 2, we've both got Iron Man 3, we've both got Hobbit 2, and we've mm. both got Man of Steel. You put Thor 2... And you put Monsters University. Put Monsters University. Go and see Thor 2. I mean, go I'm going to go and see Thor 2 about 90 times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and see All in the first two weeks. <laughs> all in 3D, all in IMAX. Okay. But then this one's going to take you to town now, okay? This is my wild card. <laughs> this is my wild card. Please don't cut this out, because people will think I'm mental if you, you just read that mental. Number one, never underestimate the value of children. Number two, it's 3D. Number three, the first film was one of 2010's, 2011, sorry, biggest hits. I have chosen as my number six wild card, The Smurfs 2. The Smurfs 2. I'm telling you, man. My sixth choice. Now, I think The Smurfs 2 will beat this. Do you know what it is? No. It's The Host. Do you know, do you know what The Host is? Uh, no, but it's not going to do better than The Smurfs. An adaptation of Stephanie Meyer's other book. Stephanie Meyer, author oh, of Twilight. Yeah, no, what? Both All the Smurfs. people that read Twilight are going to see the host. Dear human race. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, no. If the host outsells the Smurfs, right, there is something wrong with humanity. <laughs> Stephanie Meyer should not be allowed near a computer. The good thing is here, and I think we both say we have both made some very rational choices. Yeah. And I do wonder who people are going to agree with. If you want to play along, just leave in the comments. Just six films. Play with your friends at home, yeah. school, work, whatever. Good luck, my friend.